my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today we celebrate the most holy trinity. We read from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. We read as follows. Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus instructed his disciples to go everywhere and to baptize everyone in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. He didn't say in the names of the Father, just one name, the name of God in which we were baptized. Let us repeat it often in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Yet no matter how much we think about the Trinity, it will remain a mystery. One day, as St. Augustine was walking on the beach considering the mystery of Trinity, he saw a boy who had dug a hole in the sand and was going back and forth to the sea, filling his bucket with water to pour it into the hole. St. Augustine asked him, What are you doing? I am going to pour the entire ocean into this hole. That's impossible. The whole ocean will not fit in the hole you have made, said St. Augustine. The boy replied, I will finish before you fit the mystery of the Trinity into your tiny little brain. It is a mystery. And yet, the soul needs to spend time with each of these three persons separately. Sometimes talking to the Father as a good children do. Talking to Jesus as a faithful friends do and talking to the Holy Spirit as loving spouses do. Talk to the three persons, to the God the Father, to God the Son, to God the Holy Spirit. And so, as to reach the blessed Trinity, also go through Mary. May our actions glorify God. Amen.